Each year, more than 200,000 people from 70 countries visit the In Flanders Fields Museum in the West Flemish city of Ypres in Belgium. Here, they experience the horrors of the First World War that destroyed the whole city and region. The museum does not bombard the visitor with historical facts and figures. It focuses on the human stories that show the impact of the war on the life of common people. In preparation for the centenary of the First World War, the exhibition has been completely renewed. More than ever, the museum is using new media and interactive technology to confront the contemporary visitor with his wartime peers from a century ago. We have 50% more of, of museum, you have also 50% more of space, uh, but you have also a new generation arriving here and I think we developed a, a, a platform of communication that they can relate to. All the modern technology which is available there we have used not because it is available uh, but because uh, our story uh, can be told uh, very well using these modern technologies. One beautiful example of the use of modern technology is the 3D visualisation of the Cloth Hall where the museum is situated. This hologram shows the degree of destruction of the building during the war. It is designed by 3D Square, the Game Technology Expertise Centre of Hoest University College West Flanders. We have two major goals. The first goal is to stimulate the game industry and uh, the second goal is to look what can we do with game technology in other sectors. We have industrial uh, topics that we are doing and with uh, Cloud House here when we talked with Piet Hillens uh, the first time we looked okay how can we with this game technology do something for the culturist heritage. We were first invited to, to learn how advanced uh, the, the, the technologies uh, that were, were developed and, and, and taught in the school are today so that that was a, an eye-opener secondly it's very nearby it's so it's, it's very handy and convenient to go and, and and discuss things before the project starts and then communication in between is also very easy and thirdly I, I, I more and more as the, the more that the school was was uh, telling to, to, to us what they can do and what in, in the, the, uh, the education pack was available, what was taught to, to students there, the more I was convinced that they could do it, uh, and, and better so than, than, than many others. Knowing that all architectural plans have been destroyed, it has been a major challenge to reconstruct the cloth hall in 3D. Pictures were their only resource. Well, it has been quite an experience and a at some time very difficult to find uh, uh, the right pictures and the right angle for uh, each of the uh, geometrical shapes of this entire structure. And also because uh, pictures then were not like pictures now, they are not high resolution images, so it's very hard to uh, figure out the exact details and the shapes because everything is bombarded first and foremost, and technology back then wasn't the same as technology right now. So uh, we actually had this time we were missing a complete section of the wall and we didn't have any uh, photo reference, I had to register in like two different kind of forums online, I had to find them first and uh, this was a, f a forum that actually sold postcards of uh, uh, back in the day and during the war. So it was like finally after a few days one small picture, very very low res resolution picture but it actually gave us a very good uh, image about how we should make that wall you know, integrate with the rest of uh, the structures. Enthusiastic about 3D Square's work, the In Flanders Fields Museum has another assignment for the Hoest Centre, to develop a non-shooting game that enables visitors to experience what it really feels like to be in a war. Having said that, 3D Square stresses that it has no intention to be a competition for the gaming industry. Because we are specializing on trying new things, trying innovative things, when it's really just production, uh, then that's not our topic. Your focus is on research, on experimenting, on looking for new innovative applications, not to produce what you have found. Yes, 